Okay, guys, um, this is a basically a uh, a walkthrough of, of the new Fabaro Home Center 2. I uh, just got it in the mail today and just doing a brief review. And uh, as you can see, here, still got the uh, original wrapping on it. So, uh, again, Fabaro is uh, brand new to the U.S. and uh, focusing on Z Wave home automation, as well as uh, what we're really excited about is some of the multimedia. Uh, and AV capabilities that you can see in here. So I'm just going to open it up and let's see what's inside. Box is uh, really awesome. Uh, really did a great job on the on the photo on here, as well as the the, the just the the casing when it came packed. It was really well packed. Okay, so I should mention when I got the box as well this did come in there as well which is great uh, focusing on some of the new products that they're uh, they're recently just uh, uh, announced that the says uh, for uh, 2014 some of the sensors and also some of the things I'm really excited about getting which is of course um, right here in the back um, I think I saw it earlier there we go yeah uh, the new smoke sensor definitely can't wait to get my hands on that and of course the uh, the US uh, wall plug as well and uh, and of course uh, the motion sensor so this came in there, a really cool little pamphlet, some things to definitely look forward to. Uh, looks like we've got some uh, kind of a what it is uh, documentation here to, to just kind of cover what's uh, what's in here. And uh, I'm sure we'll go over that in a bit. Uh, you got your, uh, well, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, it's in a different language. So uh, we'll put that on the side as well. And then uh, thank you for purchasing, same kind of thing, but uh, I guess we've got a, oh, here we go. There we go, we got the English version here. So basically a warranty in terms of conditions and uh, let's get into it, right? Let's, let's see what we got here. So it looks like the, uh, this is the home center. It's, uh, it's come wrapped, looks like the uh, antenna. It's of course uh, detachable. We'll go ahead and do that here while we are uh, taking off the, uh, the plastic. Let me go ahead and do so and then we'll uh, get in here and see what we got. Give me one second to take this off. Alrighty. Cool. So, uh, perfect size. You know, I think it would be pretty easy to, to fit it into uh, any, any area you need to in your home. Uh, of course, you can see here, uh, again, some of, the, uh, um, some of the indicator lights, right? You know, power, Z-Wave connection, probably, I would assume, some type of... Uh, um, you know, syncing capabilities when you're uh, meshing up uh, additional uh, devices. Nothing on the side. I will say it feels very, very sturdy. It's a, a very, you know, very solid metal casing. I want to say it's probably aluminum, uh, but uh, built and it feels very, very sturdy in your hand. Um, and uh, uh, of course, uh, okay, I see here. So this is going to be tough for you guys to see in the video. And of course, I'll probably pause it here and, and we'll get back in and show you. But this side plate comes off which is gonna give us access in here to the power cord and the ethernet uh, plug-in for your network, right? I think it's nice, they did a really good job making it clean so that just the cords are coming out of the, of the back end. So give me a second here and uh, I'll pop this off and we'll get in there and take a look at it. Okay guys, we're back. So as you can see here, as I mentioned before, and there's a, a aluminum casing. I had to take off these screws right here. And of course I assume that once I pop this off, as you can see here, we're gonna be able to see inside the device, right? So, uh, looks like we've got something here. It looks like a microphone and, and, and like an output audio. Not sure what that's gonna be used for here. I'm sure to, we'll find out. Uh, it looks like this is a binding plug of some sort. I think I even read something on there that this actually uh, is, is used to uh, actually do some of the storing uh, for your configurations as a backup. And then uh, another USB port up top. Looks like we've got two USB ports here, of course an ethernet and a power cable. So again, uh, I like this, so they have the cover very flush and then of course the cords coming out of there uh, as well. And then uh, also the, uh, the radio um, antenna as well. So let's, uh, let's get in here inside the box and uh, nothing really too exciting, uh, I should say, uh, cosmetically, um, other than what I've just shown you here, but I, I, like I said, looks and uh, it feels great and they definitely uh, took their time in, in developing something very very solid so let's go ahead and see what else we got here in the box 
So inside here, looks like, is, uh, cool. So it actually comes with an Ethernet cable. So thank you guys for, uh, for doing that. One last thing I'll have to uh, uh, go ahead and get or purchase or have. So Ethernet cable then to, to of course, plug into your network and then into the, uh, the home center too. And then, uh, of course, a power supply, right? So um, looks, like I said, like a pretty standard power supply for probably most other uh, devices that you probably have in your home. But um, like I said, uh, just wanted to show you this and uh, also wanted to point out as well, I did get uh, this as well sent to me and one of the sensors. So uh, we'll be getting this thing up and running here and uh, please check out the next video. Uh, we'll be going through actually how to set up and, uh, and use, your, uh, use your system from, uh, from right out of the box. So uh, stay tuned and join us.